Alright, so um, today I'm going to teach you how to record MIDI off your electric drum set. Uh, so all you need is a USB cable that goes, that goes from your bus to your module to your uh, computer or laptop. And that's pretty much it in your electric drum set. So, so you want to first plug your module in, turn it on, and then plug it in your computer. And today I'll be using Pro Tools, so you want to plug it into your laptop, okay? Um, you don't need a audio interface, which is good about this, because they cost a lot of money if you don't have a cheap one. Alright, so I'm going to go over to my laptop. So, you want to go to Setup first, and go to MIDI, and you want to go to MIDI Studio. Um, I'm using a Behringer electric drum set, so they, they don't have mine. Let's see, no, no Behringer. So, I just... It doesn't really matter what you call it. You don't need an input or an output. Okay? And then you want to go back to MIDI. B clock. And you want to make sure that that's checked. Behringer. Or whatever, you, whatever you're using. And I'll go over why this is checked in a second. After that, you want to go to input filter. That's just... You know, whatever you want to use, that that's up, that's completely up to you. And then you want to go to MIDI again, input devices, and make sure this is checked. Okay. So once you have all those checked and emulated, you want to um, create an instrument track. And you go up to here, the instrument new, or track and a new. And then go to one instrument track and make sure it's in stereo. But I already have one, so I'm not gonna. Okay. So let's. So I'm gonna hit one symbols, but first, when you when you go to test out the sound, so nothing's happening. I have two of my up on my table. Alright, so you want to record prime on, on this layout here. See how it's playing? So that's, that's, the, first make, that's the first mistake people make when they do this. Um, I know I did. So, and then, I am using, you can use whatever drum pro program you want. Why isn't this moving over? Oh my god. Okay. But I'm using Superior Drummer 2.0. We're using the Metal Foundry. And oh, oh, it's not loading yet. So, and you can play it, and then you go to mapping, and you can, oh, let's say you don't want this ride, you want to, you want the China instead. So, that's D, uh, that's D sharp 2, and all you have to do is change that to D sharp 2 on the China. And now it's a China.
I usually like to replace my uh, this third tom over here that I have on this kit because I don't like having three toms. I like having two. Um, so I usually just replace this third tom with the uh, rad bear. I'm not gonna do that. So with that, I am just going to play a simple beat. <laughs> 